No, the walking foot's not in there. Kristen and Jeff Howard have gone from renting a house to renting just a room in a friend's apartment. Rents are completely out of touch with reality, basically. The Howards own a vintage clothing shop and button making business, but say their income just can't keep up with Orlando's rapidly rising rents. Even when we were working 40 hours a week, full time, both of us, um, it still wasn't enough. Like we would not have the income. Rents in Metro Orlando have reached unheard of heights and most analysts think they will continue to grow this year. However, it'll happen at a much slower pace. According to data recently released by Rent Hub, the median rent prices in Central Florida from December of 2020 to November of 2021 went up by 18.9 percent, and rent prices across Central Florida averaged 1,900 per month. Real estate analysts CoStar Group say renters should prepare for a 6 to 8 percent rise in rents in 2022, which is not as steep as it was last year. One reason is the fact that 14,000 new rental units are currently being built in Metro Orlando. But the Howards say even if rents stabilized, they would still be out of reach. In most places they want for you to have provable income three times the amount. And then if a place is $1,500, it means your whole household has to make at least $4,500 per month. Their solution for now is to share an apartment with a roommate and hope that one day they will find their way back to living in a single family home. In Orange County, Amanda Dukes, West 2 News. According to Rent Hub, the biggest rise in rent came in the Cocoa area of Brevard County with an average of $1,579 a month, which is a 111% increase year over year.